up, what's up, what's up? Leonidas gets there coming at you. Whoa, almost fell right there. Hanging out here. I'm out in Melbourne today, Melbourne, Florida today, just hanging out. Came out by this cool pier. Um, just to, you know, do some reading, do some some mind mapping, some focusing on, on, you know, just connecting with nature and what have you. So um, just wanted to make this video for you, a little morning inspiration, share a story with you, kind of, uh, you know, just share with you some of the things I like to do first thing in the morning. Um, this is one of the biggest things that, have, that, that, that has always set me up for success is maximizing my time um, without distractions, right? When I was younger growing up as a kid, I would always look at uh, musicians, especially because I'm a musician. You know, I play music by heart. And if you can see that cool little treble clef. Um, I play music. I love music. I've always been somebody that's been into music. I'm a songwriter, seasoned uh, performer. I play the steel drums. I write songs. Like I said, I record music. I engineer. I uh, can do live sound. I can do uh, recording, post-production, all that cool stuff. Anything to do with sound and recording it, putting it to picture, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm very passionate about it. Um, but I also love to read a lot. I like to read a lot. I like to um, actually cut out all distractions. So what I like to do is I have a very obscure schedule, a weird schedule. So because I have kids, I'm a full time dad, as you know, because I'm sure you've watched my other videos and um, dedicated husband. So while my family's asleep, I like to be able to pour into me because here's something, especially for you guys out there. If you're living in this life, you got to be somebody that has a lot of control and you got to be in control of, of your outcome. You got to know your outcome. You got to know what it is you want and you got to go get it. So in order for you to we all only we only all have we all only have 24 hours in a day. Right. But what you do with those 24 hours is important. So one big thing that I want to express to you is if you want to li live and lead a life of luxury or a life of freedom, whatever it is you want to do. If you want to be a multimillionaire, if you want to be somebody that's just free to roam and travel whenever you want to, however you want to, you can do it. Um, you just have to put a couple of disciplines in place. One thing that I wanted to do before I left the army was I wanted to be free. I didn't want to have a job. I didn't want to have a boss. I wanted to be responsible for my own income to do the things that I wanted to do when I wanted to do it with my family. And I'll be honest with you, not every day, not every month, not every year since I left the army has been pleasant, okay? There's been ups and downs and, and it's because of things that I I didn't really understand and you know because I spent so much time in the military dealing with military personnel I didn't I didn't realize or understand the way civilians think how how much people are not really serious about things how full of shit they are at the end of the day and you've got to find a way to make people accountable for their actions and for their words so um, I pride myself on becoming a better me every day and you should too you should really think about improving who you are, what you did yesterday, learn from something that you did yesterday, uh, write it down, you know what I mean? Here's, here's a powerful tip. Every day, I got this from my mentor, Grant Cardone, um, from listening to his books, and um, actually uh, Tim Ferriss as well. Write your goals down every day. If it's important, don't do it just at the start of the year or once a week or once a month and just, or write like a task list. Write like dedicated goals for, for how you want your life to be right now, even if you're in a rut, even if you have a nine to five job, if you're broke, if you're busted, you're disgusted, it doesn't matter. Write your goals down as if um, today was that day where you were living the life you wanted. So prime example, this right here, what you're seeing, this is something that I wrote about for years in the army. I, I wrote about this for a long time that I wanted to be free. I wanted to be a beach bum. Um, I wanted to just travel to different beaches. Right now I'm in Melbourne. Last week we were in Coco. Probably gonna go to Tampa next week, Clearwater, see all the beaches in Florida, check out some Caribbean beaches, Mexican beaches, wherever, you know what I mean? So if those are things that you wanna do, you have to write it down. You gotta know what it takes to accomplish those goals and you gotta set a deadline in place and you gotta do whatever it takes. You gotta be about your wit in order to accomplish it. So one, one thing that you can do by increasing value in yourself is use your time wisely and read 30 minutes a day. It won't hurt, okay? Read for 30 minutes a day, pick up 30 minutes of a good book and you'll be able to have some massive results, okay? So that's my tip for you. Um, do me a favor, if you found this video is valuable, give me a thumbs up, get, leave some comments some, and, and leave a comment below. Let me know of a book that you read recently or a book that you're thinking about reading. Uh, maybe I've read it. Maybe I can give you some pointers uh, on some books or something right now. I'm reading a couple of different books right now. Um, I recently read one of Tim Ferriss' book, uh, Tools of Titans, very, very good book. I highly recommend it, highly suggest you getting that. Has a lot of cool information in there, a lot of good things that you can apply right now to your life to start to see results massive in a massive way. And I believe that you can do it. So whatever it is you want, write it down, 
Use, if you have to get up an hour early or go to bed an hour earlier, do that. If you gotta augment your schedule just so you can be able to achieve your goals, it's not gonna be forever, okay? You know what I mean? It, think back 10 years ago, what you did 10 years ago, it, does, it affects you a little bit now, but it does not, it does not, it does not shake your current enjoyment of your current reality. So in your current reality is what you make it. So by all means, take the time out and um, write your goals down, take it serious. I'm walking on these weird rocks. Um, take, write your goals down, take it serious, and start taking action on um, on your goals. Start taking action. See how close I am to the highway? This is actually a causeway that I'm standing on right here. Um, it's pretty cool. I just came out here this morning. Cool little small sandy beach. This reminds me of a beach in the Virgin Islands. It's called the Mermaid's Chair, where it's literally, you have to have a dinghy to get to it. And the dinghy is just a small little boat, which is like, I don't know if you can see that boat over there that one but that that little black thing right there that's a dinghy for those of you that are not uh sea creatures or nautically inclined but yeah you got to have a dinghy to get up to the to the mermaid's chair and all it is why they call it the mermaid's chair is because it's a little beach literally about the size of this one but it's a lot cleaner than this a lot nicer and it looks like a mermaid's tail like a mermaid just took her tail up and just sat it down so uh, it's always cool to come out and see that but uh, stay tuned for some upcoming videos I'll probably be out in the Virgin Islands soon and I'll, sh I'll show you exactly where it is I'll be playing some music and stuff having an awesome time so with that said man my name is King Leonidas Leonidas Gis do me a favor like I said subscribe to my channel like my videos like all my videos watch all my videos because you'll learn some cool stuff um, watch this video if there's a video there subscribe like give me a thumbs up and if you got any questions feel free to email me or call me peace